Was traveling with your family totally awesome or what? Not particularly. Oh, right. Because he knows all about your childhood secrets or whatever, yeah? This isn't a vacation, you know. Fine, whatever. Ignore my questions. So, Asbel, got any embarrassing stories about your little bro? Are you even listening to me? And while I'm at it, just how were you able to solve the Valkanus problem so easily? What, that? I don't know. Just intuition, I guess. You can't fix a problem like that with intuition. It's okay, Hubert. That's just how Pascal is. My favorite food is bananas, and my favorite color is yellow. Hey, this is fun! What else do you want to know? Ugh, never mind. Okay, but if you ever think of anything, just let me know. Ridiculous. I've never met a more suspicious character in all my life. I know she's kind of... unusual, but we couldn't have survived this long without her. I'm not denying what she's done. I'm saying it's dangerous to put blind trust in her. I can see this is lost on you. Very well. I guess I'll just have to keep an eye on things. Hubert, come on. Looks like our agent hasn't arrived yet. Say, you've got one of them new models too, huh? How do you like it? The output on these babies is incredible. They suck Elith from a Creus like nothing I've ever seen. Oh, wow, they can do that now? Here, wait, let me see. Hmm, so the Creus goes here, and the transformer circuit is that little katangy bit there. Hey, stop bothering us! That's weird. I wonder who designed that. I better take another look. What are you doing? Stop that! Do you want to get us all killed? Don't worry, little bro. I'll keep my distance. Those guns were unfamiliar to me as well. Is the military up to something? What is it, Captain? Hmm? Oh, nothing. I don't like it here. Everything seems so... aggressive. Skilled fighters come from across the world to compete at Warrior's Roost. Power is the only law in this place, and battle the only justice. Conflict should be a means to an end, 
Why would anyone fight just for the sake of fighting? Why does this place even exist? Skilled fighters need a place to test their metal and aspire to new heights. Perhaps this is a world that only they can understand. Hey, are you folks waiting for a certain Fendullian soldier? I have a letter from her. Hmm. This is bad. Our spy's commanding officer has grown suspicious of her actions. She will be unable to meet with us. So how do we get to Fendel? It would seem we'll have to find another way. Sophie! Pascal! Are you okay? What do you think you're doing? That wench tried to steal our weapons! I just wanted to look at him! Come on! You can't have her. What's this? Troublemakers? And who would you be? Perhaps the friends of that little spy? Oh, yes. We know all about your plan to infiltrate our ranks. I will thank you to avoid such filthy accusations, sir. We have come to challenge the champions of Riot Peak. Nothing more. Is that so? Then you won't mind if we're your first opponents. And while we're at it, perhaps a small wager will make things more interesting. If we win, and we will win, you're going to tell us everything we want to know. That seems to be a fair challenge. We accept. We're here to fight, after all. And to win. <laughs> Bold talk for a little mama's boy. See you on Riot Peak. Wow! You were all like, kapow! Was that a wise thing to say, Hubert? It seems our agent friend has been taken captive. If we want to reach Fendel, we'll have to rescue her first. As such, we'll need to defeat those men and set her free. Riot Peak, huh? Wow, the names of all the former Riot Peak champions have been carved here. There's a couple of women, too. <laughs> Does that sort of thing interest you? Back at the Academy, we used to talk all night about one day challenging the Guardians of Riot Peak. Well, I'm glad you boys had something to get excited about. Now please don't tell me you miss those days. No, not really. But it wasn't just boys, you know. Maybe one of every three students was a girl. Probably not what you expected, huh? Wait, hold on. Seriously? And you talked all night? Yeah, is that weird? N no, of course not. Pascal, are you into guns and weapons and stuff? How come? You seem pretty obsessed with those soldiers' weapons. I don't give a hoot about the weapons, but the mechanism that extracts Eleth from the Creus looks like an idea I had a long time ago. They're clearly made by someone super talented. Huh. Pascal, you really are some kind of genius. Hey, what was that? Did little bro need something? and the spy escapes to snoop another day.
I expect the best from everyone. No This is what happens when you misjudge your foe. This is what happens when you misjudge your foe. I expect the best from everyone. Guts, Mama's boy. I'll give you that. Oh, and we brought your little spy friend so she can watch us thrash you. Try not to die too quickly now. That would be such a bore. Are you finished? If this was a battle of grandstanding, I'd have surrendered my dual blades long ago. Time to die! I'm trembling. Why? This is what happens when you misjudge your foe. I impossible! 
How did you beat me? We should be on our way. Although, come to think of it, we never did decide on our half of the wager. Well then, as the victor, I demand you release the prisoner. Miss, you're free to go. Perhaps you would care to accompany us. You can't have her! Stand down. It is forbidden to draw your weapon after a match has been settled. If you do... It's too late now. Y you I've never seen anyone move so fast. Who is that? That is the Guardian of Riot Peak. All who come here dream of one day facing him in single combat. Our opponent broke the rules and thus was punished. As long as we obey the laws of this place, we have nothing to fear. Many thanks. I'm sorry you went to so much trouble on my behalf. No apologies are required. However, we must now get to Fendel as quickly as possible. Of course. When you're ready, come see me by the Fendel boarding point. Hmm. What is it, Asbel? I was wondering if maybe we could get that guy in black to help with our mission. Doubtful. You seem sure. Some time ago, Strata made covert inquiries into that very idea. But the Guardians are judges who have proven themselves the strongest warriors of Riot Peak. Apparently, they will leave this place only if they are defeated in battle. Wait, did you say they? Yes. We heard there are three Guardians. Wow. Really? It's a conundrum. To earn their help, you must defeat them in combat. But if you had such power, you wouldn't need their help in the first place. Huh. Then that settles it. I'm gonna defeat the Guardians myself one day. Defeat the Judges? I can't imagine how long you would need to train. But in the meantime, I'd be happy to assist with your daily regimen. If you're ready, I'm happy to escort you to Fendel. We appreciate the help.
Riot Peak, a place where skilled fighters test their mettle and aspire to new heights. What's wrong, Asbel? Huh? Oh, nothing. I'm fine. Let's go. So you can use the light too, huh? Yes. It happened only recently. I have many questions. Such as, why does it only affect you, me, and Sharia? One day I must research the cause of this phenomenon. Always thinking ahead. You never fail to impress. Well, lately I've also been thinking about him. Captain Malik? Come on. You can't suspect him, too. He's been at the Knight Academy forever. I've known him since I was a boy. His fighting style is... unique. I would very much like to know where he learned it. Asbel? Pascal is feeling sick. She's sick? Pascal, do you get seasick easily? She's not seasick. She just ate an entire bunch of bananas. <laughs> oh, man! All that wasted potassium! This is disgusting. Okay, I think I'm done horfing for a while. Is Captain Malik sick too? What's wrong? Did I gross you out? Or are you so sick you can't talk? Just reflecting on the past. Ooh, tell me, tell me. I don't know anything about you, you know? You must have done something before you were a sword-fighting guy, right? Sorry, Pascal. I'd like to be left alone, if you don't mind. Okay. Jeez, what a grump. Don't bother trying to cheer him up. I wonder what's wrong. What exactly are you hiding, Captain? Here. Are you okay, Sophie? I'm fine. Yeah, well, I'm freezing! Come on, Sophie, you gotta help me warm up! I tried to find the exact location of Fendel's Valkyness, but came up empty. According to rumors, however, it's somewhere near the capital, Savhurt. That's unfortunate. Zavhurt is a long way from here. For now, let's head to the town of Velenik. It should be just ahead. Thank you. 
right into next week. I've traveled back in time from next week. Please stop throwing monsters at us. Before. Sophie, are you remembering something? No need to rush it. Just think carefully. Could Sophie be from Fennel? Well, do you remember where you've seen them? Oh, I got it. Peaches look like little buds. Huh? Especially Sherry. Okay, time out. Sophie, we need to talk. But I just wanted to tell everyone. to stand in our way. Because that makes it easier for me to pick apples. Oh. At least be subtle about your lies. Thank you. 
If we get past this fortress, we'll be in Launt. Time to bust out the whooping stick? That's not a good idea. No matter how worried I am, the fortifications here are very strong. You'll never win with that kind of attitude. These borders may contain smugglers' trails used for illegal crossings. See? But even if we do cross into Windor, it might be difficult to find our way back here. Actually, we should be able to take a ship from West Launt Port to Warrior's Roost, and from there back to Fendel. Oh, really? Hmm. It sure would be nice to see Launt again. such a large crater. It happened after a Creus explosion. That happens? Of course. The Creus and Fendel is naturally unstable, which makes it kind of hard to control. We should get to Velenik before people start getting suspicious. The town of Velenik is just up the road. Perhaps we should try to gather information about this crater there. Yeah, I'd hate to see a hole like this open up in Launt somewhere. Why would a hole open up in Launt? Allow me to elucidate. Our current location is just north of the Windor border, so we've actually been traveling in a big old circle. We're not all that far from Launt. I have to admit, even after the whole Valkanus ordeal, I continue to be surprised by how much you know. Yeah, well, it's just a quinky dink. Is that all? 
I, for one, have trouble believing in all these coinkydinks. Then it's destiny! That is not what I was suggesting. to stand in our way. as well as could be expected. Remember your training. Yeah. Release! No escape! Critical blade! Your affairs? Scary shot! I must admit that your skills are quite impressive. <laughs> Aren't you sweet?
This place hasn't changed at all. If anything, it's gotten worse. Are you reflecting again? Something like that. Is it hard? Sometimes, very much so. When you think about the past, it's easy to focus on regret. On how you failed to act when it was required most. Failure to act. I feel like I was meant to do something as well. Was it protecting Asbel and my other friends? No. It was... something bigger than that. Let's ask around town and see if anyone knows anything about the Valkanis. Thank you. 
What are those kids looking for? Bits of Creus. Some are no larger than a grain of sand. No kidding. What use is it if it's that small? They use it to heat their stoves. That's so sad. How goes the search? Not good. Our family runs the inn. So we need enough Creus for the guest rooms too. I see. Can't they just buy Creus fuel? This country has few Creus reserves, and they're mainly reserved for the upper class. The government has long turned a blind eye to this injustice. No matter how many people suffer, that's just how it is in Fendel. In Want, people have all the Creus they want. In Strata, we're not unfamiliar with Creus shortages ourselves. But this situation is extreme. This is Fendel? These poor people are our most hated enemies? You have a fever. You should go home and rest. I'll take care of the Creus. But we don't have enough. Don't worry. If I can't find more, I'll get a stratum horn. What? No, a stratum would kill you. Hey, I always figure something out. R right? I'm your big brother. Just leave it to me. Is a stratum something that a child should be taking on? No, it's not. They're extremely dangerous monsters that live on Creus fragments. The eleth from the Creus accumulates in their horns. Uncountable men have perished trying to secure those horns. It's not a foe to be taken lightly. Stratum horns, huh? Incidentally, we fought Stratum several times on our way here. Damn, we should have taken the horns when we had the chance. Oh, hold on! Let me see how many we have! Pascal, when did you pick those up? One, two, three, four, five! Oh yeah, we got plenty! All right, so... Is this enough? Wait, what? You should get out of this cold and find a place to warm up. Why don't you take her home? But... We just happen to have these. Don't worry about it. Now take your sister home and let her get some rest, okay? Thank you! Thank you so much! Let's go. Can you stand? We're lucky Pascal thought to take those horns, aren't we? Yeah, we are.
for you. Thank you for your kind hospitality. You're our first out-of-town visitors in quite a while. And as such, you'll get nothing but top drawer service. It's not fancy, I admit. But I think you'll like the food we've prepared. I see it still gets incredibly silent here at night. Nothing has changed. Nothing at all. Captain? Oh, hello, Sophie. What are you doing up? Pascal is snoring. She's loud. <laughs> I see. What about you, Captain? What are you doing? Actually, I was just thinking about an old song. A song? It's a story of two men who hold their honor and ideals above all else. But eventually, one of them becomes disillusioned and strikes out for another land. What happens when he gets there? He devotes his life to finding a new ideal. What about the other man? I don't know. Can you sing it? <laughs> Why not? This is for you, Sophie. Good morning! How was your night? It was cold, and I totally didn't sleep at all. That's amazing. Considering that your snoring was rattling the crockery in my room. You're right, little lady. We do have some cold nights here. We keep hearing that the government will use its Valkanis to help us. I wish I could believe that. These are desperate times. Do you know where the Valkanis is? Not specifically, no. But I've heard they're studying it in Zavhurt. Studying? Does that mean someone's helping them? But who? All right then. Let's get to Zavhurt as fast as possible. Her Majesty leads. What can I get Her Highness? Bananas! Just bananas? Well, if you also find banana pie for dessert, that'd be swell. You like bananas that much? I love bananas and banana pie! It's because bananas look like balconists and stuff. I see. Thank you. 
<clears throat> Be careful, Captain. You should try to shake that before it turns into a full-blown cold. It's from singing too much last night. Perhaps I should go rest. Singing? Ha! It sounds like the dear Captain slipped off to who knows where last night and did who knows what. Hubert, seriously? Those who trust too lightly are likely to awaken with a knife at their throats. La la. What are you singing there, Sophie? A song the captain sang to me last night. Yes, uh, well, as I was... Those who trust will... Uh, <clears throat> Never mind. He actually broke. Sophie, and she's gone. 
She sensed danger and fled. It's cold inside these caves. This isn't a cave. It's a tunnel through the mountains built by the Thendalian government. Humans built this? That's incredible. Yes, and ever since its completion, Fendal has pestered Windor with incessant incursions. If it wasn't for this, Dad might still be alive. With Fendal free to torment Windor as it pleases, there can be no peace or joy for Lant. Peace or joy? Those words sound odd after seeing the people of Velenik. Are we the victims here? Or are they? And if Fendel is the greater victim, what do you plan to do about it? I don't know. But someday, we may have to come up with an answer. Eagle's eye! No way! Not even flames! 
<laughs> that would have been perfect if you hadn't botched the finish. Aw, flattery will get you nowhere. You insufferable woman. And what are we muttering about? Something to do with this frozen tree, perhaps? Mm -hmm. That is no answer. Now speak. What are you trying to hide from me? Huh? Oh, nothing at all. I'm just wondering what's up with the Valkanis. What's up? The Valkanis is near Zavhurt, yeah? So I'm just worried about what kind of research they're conducting. Do you think that it's possible that the military might be using the Elith from the Falconess? If Fendel is thinking along those lines, it falls to us to stop them. And then we can dispense with that other menace to the Falconess as well. I wonder if Richard will be there. Very well, let's yes, begin! <laughs> Not what I meant. 